Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and the first question is if you were using cladistics to build a phylogenetic tree of cats which of the following would be the best outgroup? And here's the variance of the answers. Just looking at this variance we can say that domestic cat, leopard and lion belong to the same clade or group which is feline and wolf belong to the other group which is canine. So the wolf is going to be the best example of the out group. And also I want you to take a look at this picture and I want to specify what exactly we call clade. Sometimes we include different animals in the same clade, sometimes not. For example, take a look. Here we see leopard and house cat and we say that this is going to be a clade and they have common ancestor which is here and we put them in the same clade. On the picture on the right we also can put animals in different clades. For example, this is going to be one clade and these two species has common ancestor here. But also we can put them even in the bigger clade that is going to include not only felines but also canine wolf and this is going to be another example of clade but for example if we have phylogenic tree like this and he is going to be for example domestic cat and he is going to be for example wolf we cannot circle like this we cannot put them like this in the same clade in this case our clade is going to be all these species that has common ancestor because as you see here in the circle we don't have common ancestor included for these two species. So we have to include all the species with this common ancestor which is going to be here. So how many clades we may have here and this is going to be one, this is going to be second, this is going to be third and this is going to be fourth and this is going to be fifth. I hope now you have better understanding what is a clade is and we can move to the second question. In Hardy-Weinberg population with two alleles A dominant and A recessive what are the equilibrium? The frequency of the allele is 0.3 what is the frequency of individuals that are homozygous for this allele. So here is the formula frequency of the three genotypes that is made by two alleles which is going to be in our case dominant A and recessive allele A and when we know that only two alleles in the gene pool we know that these two alleles make 100% or 1 because we do all our calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. So we know that the frequency of the recessive allele according to our problem is 0 0.3. So let's put this number here 0 0.3 and this gives us the frequency of the dominant allele 0 0.7. So when we add these two numbers we should get 1 and also we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula which gives us frequency of the three genotypes which is going to be first one is going to be A squared plus 2 capital A small a plus small a squared and all these three genotypes should equal 1. We also can use different letters like in textbooks for example for dominant allele stand P allele and for the recessive allele Q allele. So we are going to get the same formula but it's going to look like this P squared plus 2 P Q plus Q squared and all the three genotypes would equal to 1. And because we know that the frequency of the recessive allele is 0 0.3, now we know that the frequency of the genotype that is going to be homozygous recessive, homozygous for recessive allele A, and the frequency is going to be A squared, so that means A times A. 
a small frequency of the allele times a frequency of the same allele. So this is going to be a squared. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.3 would give us 0 0.09. And this is answer C. Again, what we got, this is frequency of this genotype, which is homozygous recessive and genotype is small a, small a. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.